First off, thank you everyone for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, I think we're gonna have some fun tonight. We're gonna hear some speeches. Uh, AJ has, has been so kind to write a nice song for us that he's gonna play. Uh, and then after we're going to go light off some fireworks and hopefully some lanterns and then drink a whole bunch of beer and do some dancing and having some fun. Uh, first off, thank you all for coming. Um, this means so much to all of us to, uh, to see the support that you know a guy like Mike brings. Um, he'd be super happy to see all of you guys here and you know he'd have a blast with us uh, partying here tonight. Um, I had to write this stuff down so I can uh, make sure I get through it all. Um, it's been almost a month since we lost our brother Tally. Um, somehow it still doesn't seem real. Uh, you know, but the, uh, the pain I'm sure all of us are feeling in this room you know, tells us otherwise. That uh, sharp stinging pain you know, that you only really feel when you're losing someone that yeah, you, know, you love. But uh, it's the reminder of just how much you know, we miss him already. Um, the first few months Mike was in Ningbo were some of the best times in my entire life. I was living with the love of my life, Alina, and my longtime childhood best friend, Ben. And uh, before we knew it, along came this big, hairy, handsome bastard who slept on the couch fully clothed, but he, uh, he kept on impressing us when he was awake, running around. Uh, we knew we had found another brother to join our circle. We were like one big, highly dysfunctional family, but we, uh, we made it work pretty well. A lot of good times were had at, uh, at, the, uh, at our houses, and uh, a lot of memories were made at Hua Guangsheng and Jiangdong Singsiji. And uh, hearing Mike try to pronounce those addresses after a night out was also good for a laugh. Um, like everyone's first few months in China, it's a grind, it's a challenge, it's weird, it's different, but uh, we saw Mike rise up for that, you know, right off the bat. I must have watched him eat egg and tomato a thousand times just so he could you know, save a few dollars, save a few bucks just to go on a trip with the boys but I never once, you know, remember him complaining about it. <sighs> I always admired how Mike would, uh, you know, pick my brain and Ben's brain in his first few months about teaching. Um, you know, when we were at home, just, just hanging out after work hours. That was our thing. You know, work all day, go home, cook a meal, watch food, and hang out. I remember thinking to myself, this is a guy who truly cares about his craft and he, he won't let himself just be an average teacher. Uh, it didn't take long to see this was his attitude in the gym, in the kitchen, and just in, in life you know, as a whole. Uh, ben and I were, were top teachers at the school um, pretty quickly. And Mike, uh, you know, he couldn't wait to be right alongside, uh, right alongside us as, uh, as the top go-to guys in the school. He was a fast learner, and it didn't take him long to climb through the ranks and be one of the most respected and sought after teachers in any branch. Uh, you must have lived under a rock if you, if you worked at Shane and you didn't know who Mike was. The stuff, he did, the stuff he did just echoed throughout all the schools, all the classrooms. He left an everlasting impression on his colleagues, but uh, even more so, I think, his students. They had never seen someone you know, so big, so loud, so animated, you know, treat them with such care, attention, and passion. And I think they'll be hard pressed to uh, find another guy like Mike. Uh, after all the work talk was done in our house, you know, we would indulge in some herbal remedy and uh, you know, watch movies or look at cool shit on the internet together. You know? That was uh, how we spent our downtime. Somehow the videos always gravitated towards kittens or puppies when Mike had the iPad, you know? It's, it's something, it's hard to explain, but uh, I could never be sure if I was laughing at the video or just laughing at Mike giggling his ass off at the video, the cute little video he had found, so. Either way, it was always, you know, hilarious entertainment, entertainment with him around. 
But uh, like anything uh, truly good in this world, I think it all starts with the, the foundation you know, on, upon which it's built. And Mike had that, you know, he had that base in spades, mentally and physically. Just looking at him, you could see he was steady on his feet. You weren't going to knock him over. Knowing Mike, it was clear he had a strong mind on top of it all. From his huge caveman toes and his huge caveman feet up to his huge heart and his huge chest and up to his huge head and his huge brain, Mike was built and wired to show us how amazing we can be. He never once forgot where he came from and the people who rooted him there. He never tried to be anything he wasn't. He was true to himself and everyone around him. In a world full of sugar-coated bullshit, Mike always called it like it was, and I'll always respect him for that. Even though our uh, circle got a little smaller, it's a uh, hundred times stronger, at least. We'll never forget you, Tally Boy. You live on through everyone in this room and everyone who's ever met you. Until the day we meet again, I'll miss your musk, brother. I love you. Cheers. Go ahead, Ed. All right, so I'm Edwin. Um, I had the pleasure of moving in with Mike and Benny once, once these two left the 1004 at Shinshuji. Um, Mike moved on into Zach and Alina's lovely bedroom and I had the pleasure of moving into Mike's cave. Um, and from the jump, it was, it was awesome. Before moving in, I knew Mike and Ben, but we never spent too much time together. But as soon as I got in there, we were best of friends from the jump. And they welcomed me with open arms. Um, I started straightening out my room, and Mike would poke his head in. Hey, man, you got, you got it looking good in here, huh? <laughs> yeah, Mike, I, I got some sheets yeah. and, and a lamp, you know? <laughs> so, classic stuff. Classic stuff. Um, and we just got to know each other. And as we got to know each other, I got to know the guy that these guys and everyone else love so much. Um, and so I'm going to miss him a lot. Before he left, he started to make that extra push to, to get our bond stronger. We'd be hanging out on the couch and he'd, hey man, you want to go play some ball outside? Mike, you can barely shoot the basketball. <laughs> but he didn't care, he just wanted to spend time with his friends, man. And that's the kind of guy he was. Um, so, I say that to say all the memories I have with him are just all good. You'd be, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody with a bad experience of Mike Talbot, maybe save for the guys on the, the other side of the ball on a rugby pitch. But he was just a great guy and he brightened up all our lives. And as Zach said, he's going to be missed, but he left a great legacy in just being an awesome person. And it pushes me to be better. We all got to go at some point, and I think it's important that we go with grace and go leaving behind a, a positive legacy like Mike did. He impacted all our lives for the better, and I love him for that and for all he was and all he is in me. So it was a short time together, but it was a great time, and Gort, we're going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. So. I'm Rosie, uh, that's me, that's my name. Um, I met Mike when he first got here. We were working at the school together. Um, so I got to witness all the egg and tomatoes for lunch <laughs> every goddamn day. Um, right away, you know, my first impression of the guy was just big heart, big smile. Um, great listener, 
quick to cheer you up if you're having a bad day. Always with the one-liners and the jokes uh, that involve the importance of having a ride over walking, whether or not someone deserves to get kicked out of bed for eating crackers, the, the imagery of the sleeve of a wizard, whatever it was. Um, he, he meant a lot to me. Um, I'm going to remember our time together for a long, long time. And every time I think back on it, I know that I'm, I'm gonna, it's going to bring a, a big smile to my face. Um, you know, when, when he passed away, uh, I'm going to attempt to kind of describe how I felt. And I, I say that because it's tough to get through. Um, you know, the sort of immediate aftermath was just a, a roller coaster of emotions. Um, you know, my, my heart was, was broken. This, this big, strong guy in the prime of his life, 28 years old. Um, this guy that touched so many people's lives, made so many people smile, and it, it didn't even see, seem real. Um, you know, I, I don't think that I've had to go through anything quite as tough as this with somebody that was so close to me. And, you know, it kind of... I was talking to somebody that said grief kind of comes in waves and just like those next few days just you'd be thinking about something else and then the next thing you know you're you're crying your eyes out and you can't stop um yeah and slowly as time went on i i you know try to focus on the on the good things about Mike's life that everyone's talked about. Um, and you know, over time, as I think of him, he's gonna remind me to, to cherish life. Don't waste a day worrying about stupid crap. Because um, you, you don't know how much time you've got left. And that's the way Mike lived his entire life. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Thanks. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name's Shandy, and I worked in Mike for two years. want to come up here and cry. <laughs> I was supposed to share happy moments. Anyways, uh, so I'd see him every day at work <laughs> and he was such a wonderful gentleman. He'd always uh, He'd always be there to help you whenever you needed. <laughs> and he had the silliest Jamaican accent ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Horrible. And uh, one summer I was headed back to Jamaica and he was heading home to Canada and I'm like, Mike, well, I need some maple syrup, please. Canadian maple syrup. And he's like, sure, as long as you bring me a Jamaican bracelet. I did not get that maple syrup. <laughs> but he got his bracelet. He'd always be there to make everyone coffee at, at work. Uh, just cheer you up bright in your day. I just want to leave one thing with you. And it's something that Mike always said to me. And it's, do you, boo-boo, <laughs> okay? So whenever you doubt yourself or 
<laughs> not quite sure how to handle a situation. Do it your way, just as, as Mike did, and live a very full and happy life. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, first off, thanks everyone for coming tonight. Uh, I too need to write this down, so bear with me here. Uh, the first time I ever saw Mike, he was playing rugby, uh, and during the game he collided heads with an opposing player. Uh, during that play, he ended up splitting his head open pretty bad. Of course, Mike uh, continued to play for the rest of the game, and then afterwards, Mike decided that instead of going to a doctor uh, and getting stitches, he would treat himself by wrapping aluminum foil uh, around his head. Oh uh, well, yeah, w way to patch up the wound nicely, Mike. Good stuff. Um, everyone knows how much of a, a big, strong presence Mike was physically. Um, that was obvious from the moment you met him. Uh, but what's, what's really, really awesome about Mike is that uh, it was just as obvious to everyone how much of a big, strong heart he had, too. Usually with big, big guys like that, they're a little more reserved, and that's, that's a thing that's not quite as obvious. So that was, that was pretty cool how obvious it was. Um, Mike was big in all ways. Uh, he, he loved life big. He had a big love for his two younger sisters, his younger brothers, his mom, his dad, and his stepdad. Um, he had a big love for traveling and adventures. He had a big love for teaching and helping others. Uh, he had a big love for, for history, believe it or not, too. Um, I know Tally isn't your typical looking history buff, but uh, he was. Um, and of course, he had a big love for cheeseburgers. Everyone knows that. And he'd share them, too. Yeah, he, yeah he, he fits that part a little better, I think. Um, flat out, Mike lived big in his 28 years with us. Um, What's bigger than everything, though, I think, as you can see with everyone here, is the size of the impact he left uh, on everyone, myself, of course, uh, and everyone that got the pleasure to interact with him. Um, it was truly huge. Uh, I, was, I was blessed to be pretty much attached at the hip with Mike for his first two years, uh, with, with Mike and Zach, of course, um, first two years in China. Uh, I'll always cherish that time I had with him to the end of the world. Uh, it's, it's, it's fucking horrible what happened. Um, there's no way around that. <clears throat> but, uh, <clears throat> if, if there's any, if, any silver lining uh, from Mike leaving us, it's that it should teach us to um, continue to love as big as Mike did. Um, I, I say continue because it's obvious to me how much everyone in here loves the support from all you guys uh, has, has been incredible. Uh, you guys are the best. Uh, I love you, Mike. Uh, I miss you. And I can't wait to uh, walk, rock some, some fried everything uh, <laughs> with you again in the afterlife. Uh, rest in peace, brother. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, AJ? You want to uh, do your thing? AJ, I think, is going to get set up here. And he so kindly uh, wrote a song for Mike, so we're going to get a chance to, to hear that now. It, you know, it wasn't directly full Mike or about Mike, but it just sort of came out. And, uh, you know, this, this song just wrote itself really quickly. And I just, you know, thought it share that with you guys and Mark is going to help sing. We've only been through the song once, but uh, as AJ said, he wrote it literally in minutes. 
after he heard, I think, as I understand it, and that's a pretty inspired thing, it's a pretty cool thing. Um, even if we make mistakes, uh, it's, it's from a place of love, right? Um, the, the lyrics are on the screen too. AJ, write them out. Be cool if you read them, they're really, they're really cool, really powerful.
Thank you.